Good morning everyone from LLB store. Right now I am here. As you see, traffic was still smooth today. Today is Tuesday. Uh, it's still early, so traffic is very, very smooth at this moment. And of course, I have my groceries over here. As you see, I always get like uh, garlic, onion, potato, and everything. Uh, better melon, uh, vegetables here and then bring to the house that is uh, good for that is good for uh, a week then after a week I gotta get new one again so garlic is the only one I, I get a lot because we use garlic every day we used to eat it and garlic is too good good for you so anyway I don't know today I will go to uh, boards for certain reason I need to do something uh, I'm going to talk to her for something um, see it's really hard to explain but this is all about for my parents my mom my mom was on the way here I'm gonna settle something to boards because she's the one who got connected work and my mom get a uh, trap uh, work and my mom able to travel with that person and then come here so eventually sooner or later you are going to meet my mom for the first time which my mom and I is very opposite <laughs> we are not go like the same look you will see that when she's finally over here but let's keep going and let's start our journey today all right let's walk for a while let's walk a little bit over here <gasps> the dust <laughs> let's walk over here it's gonna walk like a little bit it's still early though so I just decided to walk it's okay for just like a dust so over here there's like apartment for rent a lot over here like a lot I notice over here there's a lot of apartment available there's a lot of Ricky oh I see Ricky I see Ricky I gotta ride for him Satellite. <laughs> okay, I got a ride for her, Ricky. As you know, Ricky is a uh, boss. Uh, my landlord, <laughs> landlord uh, worker. Where are you Ah, you go deliver. So anyway, let's go to boards. It is my lucky day today. I see Ricky. Uh, Ricky is a uh, worker on my landlord ah i said that already so <laughs> he's a worker and i know him pretty well so every time i'd see him he always give me a ride and today is my lucky day can i find him <laughs> i even he's very far i will know if he was ricky so anyway <clears throat> right now as you see this is the road goes to the bridge but because it's still early i'm not really scared though i'm not really scared though you know why uh the thing is sometimes earlier like they're always like always like a motorbike can to approach or something i'm not know if maybe it's just my illusion or emotion uh like imagination for some reason like they're always kind of breaking me out but i think it's just my emotion uh like imagination just because I did happen that I have a bad experience it comes to motorbike before who got like stole uh, rob me and put knife on my other side so this one here there's just a store there's also like a talipapa over here they have like when they do the rob things on mine and it's kind of scary maybe that's the only reason like I have a traumatized on it that I don't I don't even like that some motorbike was trying to approach me and I was like freaking out and I'm trying to to like run or I don't know what I do like I don't know what I should do but anyway this one here also for my understanding uh, I'm not here I, I don't know if this one here is like rights property or is they own it but most of the time over here it's just a rights property so however <laughs> the good thing with rights is uh, the government just can throw you out they needs to have they needs to give you a relocation but some of them they give you like far 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 they can, can even like you can even like uh, fi find something to do and that's the that's the reason also some people like 
some people just like uh, complaining because uh, once they use the road or they use this land for some reason either they want to build a building and everything you never know so they always really get other people to different kind of place but it's just farther farther than farther that you can even do like uh, uh, everyday living so anyway let's go to uh, keep moving right now as you see I wear my sandals because uh, but no uh, Rocky Rocky always chew my uh, slipper so my slipper was already retired <laughs> and I need to buy a new one and uh, right now I wear my Ta -da! you see that uh, I don't know if you can see that sandals for my walk all right we are here kids is playing what's that what's that Fox, Fox. Huh? Fox. Fox? Fox. Oh, how did you play it? I know you bet. Ah, so you bet? Ah, okay. Ah, Fox. Oh. And Taya is watching. And also there is watching. That's their, uh, that's their fans. This one here is playing. You know, before when we don't have a... Uh... Nanay! Good morning, Te... Oh, Ate was uh, lampasuing. Scrubbing. In province, that's what we always do in our floor. That came from coconut. That's a shell of the coconut. When we cut it, we take the shell off. And then that's how we... That's how we shine our floor. Even though in province, every nana I bring that one over here, see? That's we call it Lampaso. <laughs> and uh, it's perfectly fine. We also use like a floor wax. We, do, we put like floor wax first and then uh, we do Lampaso. That's what we always do. That's how you can make exercise actually. You did that whole day, uh, you did that like uh, maybe 30 minutes in your house, you get the good exercise because you will sweetie, sweetie like a turbo jet if you like uh, do that in your own, uh, do that in uh, every day. So anyway, I'm here already at boards, gotta find where she is. I don't know what she's up to this time, so let's check her out. It's time for us. To have breakfast. I don't know what time is it, but uh, eventually we bought just by uh, cook food. Oh, that's not lot. That's <laughs> <laughs> boards, and we have like just a cook food. Like of uh, course soup is always there. Pancit, it's more. Uh, Pancit is on a budget, and uh, this is jackfruits, and also this is sisi. So that's what the, we have for breakfast because we don't get breakfast yet. So we need to eat something to fresh our mind. All right, it's so hot. Very, very hot right now, but I'm on the way to uh, the hardware where I always pay my rent. So today is my rent day. So I need to pay for it. So while we're going to go to pay the rent, we gotta walk. We're just going to walk and uh, <coughs> see this is Starlock Street too. There's like side by side, the other side and this side is Starlock Street. So right now we're on, uh, I need to pay my rent. Uh. Every second it's my pay rent. I was like debating what should I do with this store and something. I don't know. It might be ghost. I might be saying that update soon, but I was still thinking. My uh, my head is not clarified yet, but I'm thinking a lot of thought about it. But eventually, I will say that too. This one here is another restaurant. This is it's Chicken Inn as well. So I am here all with the GEQ Construction Supply. We just got back to the house and uh, I was hoping that when I came home my, my pa was outside and doing his tan but eventually not today because it's very hot so he doesn't like to be dark <laughs> but according to him he likes to be dark he likes to be brown so he don't have a sunburn when he go dive 
But I think today is not a perfect day for him to go tan. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like asking the board. We we're just talking earlier about something. See, boards went to SM. SM by boards. Take your mask off. SM? Huh? No. Diba you said you went to SM and apply job? Yes. Then what did they tell you? Discrimination. Discrimination. Discrimination because of my age. Yeah. I, I almost, I almost hired already, but... It's almost, no, it's already hired because they asked her, they asked you to get all the papers all done. The papers. And then they find it out in your papers that your age is more than yeah. like what they expected. 36 years old. Yeah. <laughs> so she was like, uh, <laughs> so she was just so happy at the time that she thought everything is smooth and perfect, and then they told her to uh, Xerox everything, the valid ID, because she's already hired and something, and then later on they find something it's not good for them, because according to them, you only have you need to get 20 years old and 30. And 18 to 25. So the thing is, over here, a lot of a lot, that's why they all say, why there's a lot of Filipino. Oh my bully, I forgot to say for my sh oh, no, pants. Uh, <laughs> why there's a lot of uh, no, why there's a lot of uh, Filipino was unemployed. First reason is there's a lot of company there that they can do whatever they wants to do. It comes to discrimination. It goes to job. They can hire this, like, you need to get placing personality when you go as a sales lady. And if you are freaking ugly, don't dream to be a sales lady because you're not hired. You need to get this high education that they're looking for, even though, even though you are just only applying for a cashier. You need to get a college graduate, this. You need to have a one-year experience, something like that. And it goes to the age because there is no law over here to prevent that kind of uh, discrimination. There is no law here that's saying uh, this company should not have, should not discriminate when it comes to the age. But the company, because there is no law, the company can do whatever they freaking wants to do. So that's the reason also why there's a lot of people was unemployed because once you turn like 31, 36 something, boy, it's really hard to find a job. Really, really hard. Even do your college graduate, unless if you like to be a cashier, you still need to be a college graduate. And how about us, that we don't even finish our high school? So all one thing you can do is just hard to become a housemaid, but not a lot of people can also afford to have a housemaid. So that's the also reason. That's why I always keep uh, telling Hannah that she needs to, she needs to study hard. And she needs to graduate in prior to give her a very, very nice job. She needs, huh? She needs to get a very good grade too, right? What did you wanna be when you grow up? I don't know. <laughs> a truck driver's wife. Huh? What? I'm sorry, a jeepney driver's wife. Yeah. Ah, no, a motorbike. A lawyer. No, how about a trash? Ah, no. <laughs> how about a trash can guy, but? Huh? <laughs> How about a, a trash boy? Ate! Ha, huh, Hannah? Because she always changes her mind. Tomorrow she's a lawyer. Next day she's a nurse. Doctor. Next day she's a doctor. So what you gonna be? A wife of the trash can? Ate! Or a wife of the jeepney driver? Ate! <laughs> so, that's about it for today. My adventure today is very hot, yes. Uh, we woke earlier at, this morning and uh, it's... As I said, um, it's not really good to walk by the afternoon already. It's freaking, freaking hot. And because it's really hot, I was hoping, I was thought, I thought, I thought that in mind that my Asa was going to be 10. But maybe tomorrow he would like to go 10 because I would like to show you how it's like brownies, like a brownies. So that's about it for today. And uh, thank you so much. Stay safe and uh, stay healthy.